Hey, what's up? I just wanted to do uh, one more quick video on uh, a little bit of a uh, computer thought. I'm um, just kind of hope. Um, I, I don't, I don't claim to be any kind of Bill Gates or anything, but it's got a little bit. Um, you know. Anyway, here we go. All right. Uh, so uh, power supply. Um, if your power supply does blow, um, you know, what you want to do is make sure that you get a power supply that's uh, specific for for that unit. So make sure that you have the the right um, the new power supply that will that fits specifically for your uh, computer for your unit. Um, upgrade. Um, if you're gonna upgrade, let's say if you have XP, um, you want to upgrade to Windows 7. You gotta make sure that you upgrade to Windows Vista first before you can upgrade to Windows uh, 7. So if you upgrade to, to Windows Vista Ultimate, you, you could from XP, you could uh, upgrade to Windows 7 um, Ultimate. And then uh, and then the process continues on. I'm sure when Windows 8 comes on sale, you'd be able to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 8 with no problem. Um, uh, MS Config, if you go to the, the, the run command, um, I'm, I'm sorry, the, uh, the uh, command prompt, um, uh, you can either get there by start programs, accessories, uh, command, and then find your command prompt, and you can pin it to your start menu, or you can just uh, uh, you can press Windows R. I'll take uh, take you to your to your run, or just go to your start programs and, and uh, program and, and click the run search, the run thing. Anyway, when you have your run command, just type uh, CMD. That'll also bring you to your command prompt. And then when you're in your command prompt, type msconfig, and that gives you a list of everything that you want to find on your computer. And you can all you gotta do is just press launch, and it will take you to where, wherever you want to go. Whether anything from your control panel, such as uh, administrative tools, or um, anything you want to find on there, you'll find the msconfig um, thing. IE9, all you gotta do is just go to uh, Microsoft.com or just type in IN9, you can upgrade to IE uh, Internet Explorer 9. Um, imagine you can do the same thing if you have a Mac or Apple. Um, and then Microsoft, uh, you can do the, you know, just, just type in IE9 and then um, you could probably do the same thing for Apple or Mac. Uh, but IE9, if you want to upgrade to to, to IE9, just go to Microsoft.com or just type in like Internet Explorer 9 or IE9 and you should be able to upgrade on there from the internet. Uh, if you're a gamer, um, the best thing to do um, to cool down your, your system would, would be liquid cooling. Um, liquid cooling is like a passive type of cooling. Um, active cooling would be like a, active cooling would be like a fan or and that, and that sort of thing, and then the liquid coolings like a heat sink, or, or, or I'm sorry, uh, passive coolings like a heat sink or liquid cooling, things like that. Um, like, hey, Ken, um, there's Ken. Um, Ken is uh, the chief, one of the chiefs around here. He's a good guy. Um, he's a good man. He's a good man. What's going on over here, Mr. He's a good man. So if you have like a uh, like tablets, um, you know, like Nook or, or Kindle Fire, or if you have like um, iPad or whatever, it's always good to uh, refresh your monitor. I mean, really, for any computer or laptop or PC, or you know, it's always good to refresh. If you have a tablet, you also want to refresh that a lot. And um, if you have problems with your tablet, um, so uh, you want to calibrate your your monitor. So that's all I got to say on that. Um, that's all I got. That's all I got. And that's all I got. And anyway, um, God bless all the countries except for the ones run by Satan. Just kidding. Alright, bye.